Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Welcome to week two of the Pantry, Fridge, and Freezer Challenge. I'll be sharing the meals that I made throughout the week for my family. If you're participating in the challenge, I'd love to know how it's going for you. Please let me know in the comment section. For breakfast, Howard is having a bowl of this Honey Bunches of Oat cereal, and I am having some um, granola and yogurt. This is a yogurt that I'm using. I got it at Aldi, and it is so good. Very rich, very creamy. I normally get their, I think it's honey vanilla or something like that yogurt in a tub similar to this, but this was a special buy, their lemon Greek yogurt. It is so rich and creamy and indulgent. So I'm gonna have a serving of yogurt and then a serving of the um, granola on top. So I will see you all for lunch. So for lunch today, I made wings in the air fryer. I get this big bag of wings from Costco. They have different flavors. This is the classic buffalo. I'm not crazy about the sauce, but the wings I love. I know there's been mixed reviews about these wings. Some people love them, some people hate them. Um, I happen to love them. <laughs> That's Harrison playing behind me. So since I did not use the buffalo wing sauce that came with it, I did use this instead. I get this from Aldi and it's really good. Um, Asian flavored, has a spicy kick. It reminds me of the um, dipping sauce that you get from Chick-fil-A for their chicken nuggets. I think it's like a sweet and spicy sriracha or something like that. Anyway, that's what it reminds me of. But this is what we're having for lunch today and we'll see you all at dinner. So we are having pizza night tonight. This is semi-homemade pizza and I am using this box of hot roll mix that I had in my pantry. Um, let me flip it over because there is a recipe for homemade cheese pizza. So I followed these instructions and we are adding toppings to ours. So I've got some onion, a red onion, we've got pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, I cooked up some sausage, of course we have pizza sauce and I'm using Italian seasoning. Howard added smoked paprika and a crushed red pepper to his. Here is mine, I'm getting ready to put it in the oven. Howard's is already in the oven so I will show you all what both pizzas look like when they are out. So this is Howard's pizza, hot out of the oven. And here is my pizza hot out of the oven. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. So I am starting off this morning with a cup of chai tea. I've had this for a while. I love chai tea and I'm not really hungry so this is perfect. And I'm also having a little package of these vanilla graham snacks that I picked up from Aldi. They usually have these in the winter, um, usually after Christmas they have them and they have vanilla and cinnamon and I have both of them. So anyway, this is what I'm having for breakfast. Howard will probably have a bowl of cereal. So I pulled all of this Asian food out of our freezer. Of course, need to use it up. So I'm gonna be trying this for the first time tonight. Um, signature spicy chicken from Innovation. I have had this fried rice before from Bibigo and it is really good. I like it a lot. I don't like peas, so I normally take those out before I cook it. And then you can make it in the microwave. The skillet tastes a lot better to me, so I've always made it in the skillet. And then also in the freezer, I have these spring rolls from HEB, a grocery store here in Texas, and I'm going to throw these in the air fryer. So I will show you our dinner as soon as I get everything all cooked up. Okay, so here's our dinner. Like I said, we both really like the fried rice. It's pretty tasty. Chicken, eh, not that great. I probably would not buy it again. And then spring rolls, we haven't tried yet. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time. So for breakfast today, I made a big batch of blueberry muffins. And so that is what we are going to be eating on for the rest of the week. And I did record a video that will be out um, on Thursday on how I made these blueberry muffins. So I will see you all at dinner. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I am using um, this pasta sides. I got this from a closeout, probably Big Lots or something. 
a while back ago. So I'm using that and it comes with a creamy Parmesan sauce. To bulk it up a little bit, I am going to use up this spaghetti sauce that I had in my freezer. There's not that much in it, but it's a meat sauce. And then I'm gonna add some cheese to it. And then in order to kind of stretch out the pasta sides, I'm going to add a little bit of this Texaroni pasta. It is a pasta, let me try to zoom in, shaped like the state of Texas. It's a small pasta, probably about the size of a macaroni noodle. So I'm probably gonna use about a cup of that and add it to this and make like a pasta bake. So I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it's finished. Okay, so the casserole is hot out of the oven. Did not have any garlic bread, so I am serving some naan that I had in the freezer from Trader Joe's that I needed to use. So I just split a piece of naan for us and then added some butter right on top. And then we are also having a side salad. Here is what the casserole looks like. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you next time. So Howard is outside grilling um, Korean short ribs for us and I thought I would show you all how I make stick of butter rice. I have made this before on our channel. I don't make it very often because it is so rich. It has a lot of butter in it and it uses canned ingredients like this beef broth. So it has a lot of sodium. So it's not something I make all the time. So in my casserole dish, I have one cup of dry rice. I just added in beef broth and now I am adding in French onion soup. And then I'm just gonna give this a stir. I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. So now I have one stick of butter or a half a cup of butter unsalted. You're just gonna put the butter pats on top. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is cover this tightly with foil. You're gonna bake it for half an hour covered, and then you're gonna uncover it and bake it for another half an hour. Okay, so here's our dinner. Howard just pulled the short ribs off the grill. Here's what the package looks like. Of course, I have these in my freezer from Trader Joe's. I think they're like 12 or $13 a bag and one bag feeds the two of us. So it's just like a one meal type thing. And then here is the rice. It is so good, very rich. Like I said, I don't make it a lot, um, but it's tasty. And then we are just finishing up the lettuce that we had in the fridge. So I just made a little salad. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. Hey, so I am trying out a new recipe today and I made some modifications based on what I have in my pantry and freezer. Salisbury style meatball and potato bake. And like I said, this is an old recipe, old magazine, 2004 I think. But I'll make sure to, if I can find the recipe online, I'll make sure to link it so you guys can check it out if you'd like. Turn it back over. So, um, pearl onions, brown sugar. It calls for instant mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna use just homemade mashed potatoes. And I'm not going to pipe my mashed potatoes in the casserole dish. I'm just gonna serve them on the side. So, and the meatballs that I'm using, using the last half of this bag of meatballs from Ikea. Love these meatballs. Let me turn it over so you guys can see the ingredients. So here are the ingredients, beef, pork, breadcrumbs. I like these because they don't have a bunch of fillers in it, but let me show you. So in this skillet, I've got my pearl onions cooking, um, and they're frozen, and in butter and brown sugar. And then this recipe calls for jarred brown gravy. I did not have jarred brown gravy. I had two gravy packages, so that is what I'm using. So as soon as my onions are done, I'm going to add in my gravy and um, meatballs, and they're actually supposed to be thawed. I didn't realize that they're frozen. And then I'm just gonna pop them in the oven and just continue to bake them. So I'll show you what everything looks like when it's finished. Okay, so here's our dinner, and I'm just serving the Salisbury meatballs over the homemade mashed potatoes that I told you all about. Made some canned green beans, used butter, and some of this, um, I never know if it's Kinders or Kinders buttery steakhouse seasoning, it's so good. I put it on everything. And I also added a little bit of onion salt to it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time.